This heavily fortified compound, hidden deep in the backwoods of Maine, is the headquarters of one of the most sinister threats to our society. From here, the evil tentacles of medical quackery reach out to ensnare the gullible, the desperate, and the feeble-minded. Here we see a typical American family, blighted by illness, but sadly tempted away from the path back to health, as laid down by fine, sane, upstanding physicians. Instead, the false promises of a depraved charlatan, Dr. Wilhelm Reich, have led them into terrible danger. Don't go in there, Pop! The terminally ill, desperate for a cure, part with their life savings to pay for Reich's bogus treatment. These fraudulent gains support not only Reich's depraved way of life, but also the international communist conspiracy. Reich forces the dupes to submit to his perverted experiments under the guise of bona fide treatment. Knowing no bounds of decency, Dr. Reich routinely interferes with his helpless patient's most intimate anatomy. Monstrous. Shameful. Now, we've all heard of Dr. Sigmund Freud's libido, or sex energy. Who knows? There may be something in it. But his wayward student, Dr. Reich, is trying to tell us that this energy, which he now calls the organ, can be collected in special boxes and used to treat all manner of illness. Be assured, ladies and gentlemen, there is no cosmic life energy. Don't put your trust in a cheap wood and metal box. Not when the responsible pharmaceutical industry spends millions to bring us new miracle drugs on a daily basis. How long can the malign and sex-crazed Dr. Reich be allowed to continue corrupting our youth and undermining the very fabric of our great nation? When will federal forces act to stamp out this evil menace to our health, our children, and our freedom? Long enough. Is it smaller? Um, that's all I'm using now. Yeah, the tumor is reduced. I'll be darned. The couch, please. <clears throat> we have still a long way to go yet. The accumulator will deal with the tumor, but that's only the symptom. Today we start with the cause. Lie right back, please. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, the technique is really very easy, and you should all enjoy it. The best part is that it's about oh, prevention as well as cure. Oh. Now, remember to keep the body supple. So that the energy can flow freely. And it's a very light touch, all the way up through the toes and then down across through the arms. Just very light and continuous. Why don't you tell me to stop? Doesn't that hurt? Doesn't sound as if it hurts. Now, what are we going to do with this, yes? Surely, if you leave them long enough, they stop crying anyway. Mine do. Well, yes, they'll stop. But they just hold it in. They make their little chest stiff and rigid and bury in their flesh all the emotions we can't deal with. Then, having given up on a world that they thought was caring and loving, they grow up to build a world full of contempt.
Is that the best you can do? I'm sorry. I see. It's pointless. Of course. This is your cancer, John. Not your tumor. Your... I, I give up. Where is your good, clean anger, hmm? I think it's got trapped in here. The emotion in your body is like water flowing in a stream. When it flows freely, it supports life, but dammed up, it stagnates and the rot sets in. We must get this energy moving again. All this talk about energy, what is this, electricity? No, no, the organ is the life force and it's everywhere moving and, and penetrating and, and binding the universe together. Ignore that. Uh, to work, please. Uh, breathe out. Make a sound. Any sound. Uh... Look at me. D don't hide. Don't run away. Look at me. Come on, let me hear it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's in charge here? Get out of the way there, Jackman. Over here, please. <laughs> Director Crayman would like me to thank you for bringing this matter to his attention. Sir? My pleasure, Ed. Thanks for the exclusive. Well, it's the least we could do, Edie. After all, it's your article that got this bandwagon rolling. Let me through. You have no right here. <laughs> Found your voice. Uh, you like that being pushed around, eh? No. Well, why don't you show me? Come on, more. Come on, show me. More, more, give it more. Show me more. The woman at the post office said they always had kids up here. They're right. I hear he stripped them naked sometimes. The whole filthy business is disgusting. He's a quack, pure and simple. Sir? A sound, please. Would Spartacus care to step forward? If you're referring to Dr. Reich. I am indeed. Well, he's with a patient and can't be disturbed. Now, do I have to remind you this is private property? Young lady. What's this? Read it. <laughs> God damn it. You never... <laughs> Yeah, what? I never what? And hold you? I advise you all to leave. Any attempt to interfere with my agents is a breach of this decree and will constitute obstruction of justice. God, you, you like that? No. No. Cut one. Go to it, boys. Yeah. That's good. 
Let it out. <laughs> Let it all out. That's good. That's good. You sure need elaborate props when you put on a show like this. These are medical instruments. The public are paying for this garbage. No one has to pay for anything. We're a chartered research. When they should be seeking bona fide help from licensed physicians. All of our patients are terminal. Their own doctors are... Those friends. unfortunates would be better advised to make their peace with the Lord. Have you found one patient to back you up in this ridiculous charade? Please stand aside. Anyone who says it hasn't helped them. Reputable scientists have assured us that there is no such thing as organ energy. Well, then let's see their test results. I'm sure this lady would like to see them, wouldn't you? That material is classified. Now, young lady, I... Dr. Claire Sterling, I am board certified in pediatric care. Doctor, please allow my agents to carry out their duty. It's okay. No, John, it's not okay. Is it? No. I leave you to dress. I suppose you'd call this trickery. So, the famous organ box. What do you think, huh? Or they get in there and screw like rabbits. It is because your stiff body can't screw like a rabbit that you are so contemptuous of them. Dr. Wilhelm Wright? Mm-hmm. Here. Very well. The District Court of Maine South ruled your letter of response to our plea inadmissible, Doctor. Contrary to your beliefs, a court of law is perfectly entitled to rule on matters of scientific fact. Don't waste I'm... your breath on him, John. I'm speaking to you, sir. If you have no objection. Appears to be in order, Doctor. Yeah, of course. All in order. I'm sorry. I'll make sure no one gets hurt. You won't do dick once I report this. One thing, Henry, isn't this going to be a field day for the civil liberties nuts? I mean, you've seen how they champion every underdog around. This isn't a civil rights issue, Edie. These aren't books. The injunction says they're just labels. Nothing more than overblown advertisements for the Oregon box.
How can you be so... Where's your voice? It could be worse, John. The Communists and the Nazis are not content with burning my books. They wanted me on the fire as well. God bless America. Don't wait for God, John. Do it yourself. Place that item. This is my monograph. Organ and child leukemia. You're a doctor. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Me ashamed. Thank you. 